Hey YouTube, this is a review and unboxing of the Razer Lachesis. It's a 4000 DPI mouse and it has a 3G laser sensor instead of a infrared sensor. This mouse is gold plated also like the Death Adder and it does not have the, um, the threaded cord. This mouse has 9 buttons, 2 on each side and one or 2 extra ones in the middle behind the scroll wheel. There's the mouse inside. So it's unbox. Set this aside. There's the mouse. It has the rubber coating like on all the Razer products, or at least most of them, like the Lycosa keyboard and the Death Adder mouse. In here, like always, Razer always has this packaging for their manuals and installation guides. And they have stickers in there too. Here's the mouse itself. Take apart that zip tie. It has a tangle, or not a tangle free. It has a seven foot cord. And gold plated. Here's the mouse itself. Two buttons, nine buttons all together. It feels really, it just feels like you're cradling it. It's it's really comfortable, really nice. I can reach the buttons easy. There's the laser sensor, which isn't like that in normal mouses. Usually you have the infrared, which shows red. This one that lights up, it, does, it doesn't show anything. Okay, here's what it looks like when you download the driver. Um, even though my camera won't focus enough to so that you can read the words on here, there's the nine buttons that you can fully configure. Like this, the um, side buttons on the, the keys, you can change it to uh, double click. So you can only cl you can click the side button once and it'll double click for you. You can pull up the DPI settings with the uh, with a side button and also on the bottom here you can have five profiles set to which like FPS gaming MMORPG over here you can do like full macros to like if you play World of Warcraft you can set up all your buffs or something like that over here you can change the sensitivity and how fast the double click speed is like if you really want it fast you have to click really fast so the double click will work if you go down here, you don't really even have to click. I like to keep mine in the middle, where I have to actual du actually double click. Over here, you can change your uh, master sensitivity, which is how fast you, you want it to move up and down or side to side. O over here, you can change your DPI and your pulling rate. Uh, you can also turn on the on-screen display, so if you're in-game, you can also switch your DPI while you're playing. There's a little menu that comes up on the bottom corner. And that's it for the driver. Okay, this mouse, you can play with this for long periods of time, and it won't hurt your hand like normal mouses like this would. Like, if I play with this for a long period of time, this is like a $20 mouse, it'll start hurting my hand since it's not really comfortable. But this, it just cradles your hand perfectly, and it's a really comfortable position to play with. Also, this mouse is really shaped for um, a right-handed person, and if you're left-handed, you can just switch the buttons with the driver settings, and you can change this to click and this to menu instead of the other way around, and you can just play with your left hand. It'd be the same thing. Also... The side buttons are really easy to reach, even though I'm not, I don't really use this side of the mouse as much. It's, it's still easy to reach, and these two buttons right here are really useful. 
if you it's easier to move across the screen like usually mouses it would or this mouse usually it would take the whole mouse pad to go across my desktop but this I can just go like this and it I can go across my desktop easy because of the high DPI settings also you can turn off the the razor symbol glow and the scroll wheel glow just like the death adder and that's it for the review.